Albert Joseph Al Shadalkote was an American news anchor and reporter for Cincinnati's WCPO TV for 27 years. Rising through the executive ranks at WCPO and later the Scripps Howard Foundation until his death in December 1996. Shadalkote grew up in the western Cincinnati suburb of Cheviot. His news career began on his 16th birthday in 1943 while a sophomore in high school. During the height of World War II he was hired as a copy boy for the Cincinnati Enquirer. One month later he was promoted to general assignment reporter, making Shadalkote the youngest journalist at that time for any major American newspaper. He ultimately attended three high schools, including St. Xavier, but left without graduating to focus on journalism. In 1950, he began a two-year stint in the army, serving in Korea giving lectures on current affairs. This experience, upon his return to Cincinnati, led to Shadalkote's being hired by WSAI Radio to anchor their evening newscast. He returned to the Enquirer and became a full-time columnist with his Talk of the Town column, which lasted several years. Ten years after WCPO-TV went on the air in 1949, General Manager Mort Waters encouraged Shadalkote to move to television giving him the task of organizing the station's first news department. Consisting of editor Marvin Arth, photographer Frank Jones, and Shadalkote himself as news director and anchor for their 11 p. m. newscast. For a time, Shadalkote continued to write for the Enquirer, but by 1961 he had abandoned print journalism to focus on broadcasting. Shadalkote's tireless work ethic, paired with his terse and prudent on-air delivery made him synonymous with Cincinnati television news, and easily earned him the nickname The Voice of Cincinnati. Within one year of becoming news anchor at Channel 9, Shadalkote supplanted WLWT's Peter Grant as the number one news anchor in Cincinnati. Shadalkote's newscasts, which would bear his name, consistently led in TV ratings from 1960 to 1982, with shares sometimes leading all of the competing Cincinnati newscasts combined. He was unseated as Cincinnati's news leader in 1982 by WKRC-TV's anchor, Nick Clooney, a longtime talk show favorite in Cincinnati and father of actor George Clooney. 1975 TV Guide ad for the Al Shadalkote News For many years Shadalkote anchored the news six days a week, making him far and away the most visible news anchor in Cincinnati. Over time, he took to beginning each newscast with a precy of the day's headlines, and then ending with his signature sign-off, that's it for now. So until tomorrow, may it all be good news. To you. Shadalkote contributed to numerous pioneering facets of local news, Eric Land. A longtime reporter at WCPO, later said that he modeled the fast-paced format at Viet in Birmingham, Alabama, on Shadalkote's newscasts when he became the station's general manager. Shadalkote became so popular that he appeared in Gunsmoke as a bailiff in the episode Old Man, which aired October 10, 1964 and also made a cameo radio broadcast as himself in the January 6, 1966 Not Guilty episode of Gilligan's Island. In 1973, when the Rembrandt painting portrait of an elderly woman was stolen from the Taft Museum, a local man having found the painting called Shadalkote personally, and produced the portrait to him live on an 11 o'clock newscast, the painting was confirmed to be genuine by then-museum committee chairman John Warrington. In May 1976, Shadalkote interviewed President Gerald R. Ford at the White House. During a 1977 newscast, an intruder barged into the studio shouting as Shadalkote began narrating a film report. He punched the prowler with one hand while muting his microphone with the other so viewers could not hear it. The intruder fled and Shadalkote, unperturbed, continued with the newscast. In the early morning of October 15, 1980, WCPO and most of its news staff became part of a major news story when armed gunman James Hoskins seized control of WCPO's newsroom taking nine hostages including reporter Elaine Green and her cameraman. During a taped interview with Green, Hoskins stated he and his girlfriend planned to cause deadly chaos in Cincinnati. After voicing his displeasure with local authority, Hoskins agreed to let the hostages go, and the eight-hour standoff ended when Hoskins killed himself while on the phone with SWAT negotiators. Shadalkote ran special newscasts from WCPO's parking lot throughout the morning. Other in 1983 Shadalkote made an unusual cameo in Dan Barr's music video, bus full of nuns lip-syncing the chorus while sitting at a nondescript anchor desk. In June 1982, after being unseated by WKRC as the number one newscast in Cincinnati, Shadalkote announced that he would step down as anchor of the 11 p. m. news. He continued as anchor for the 6 p. M. 
news for four more years before anchoring his final newscast in August 1986. He continued doing the Spotlight Report until 1994. Born in the Cincinnati suburb of Cheviot to Dutch parents, Chattel Cote was reared in the Roman Catholic faith. He married his first wife, Virginia Gleason, in July 1951 and had 12 children, six sons and six daughters. The marriage ended in divorce. His second wife, one-time WCPO reporter Elaine Green, won a Peabody Award in 1981 for her interview with armed gunman James Hoskins during the October 1980 hostage situation in WCPO's newsroom. By this marriage, Chateaucote had two stepchildren. Chateaucote died of cancer on December 25, 1996, aged 69, at his Lawrenceburg, Indiana home. He was survived by his 12 children and two stepchildren, as well as his first and second wives, and several other relatives. Thanks for watching.